Rainbow Six Siege is a wildly complicated game, especially with the new addition of the shotgun buff and everything that came with Year 8 Season 3, Operation Heavy Metal. It can be very hard to navigate who to play, why to play them, or just getting better at the game in general. In today's video, I'm going to mitigate this for you. We're going to go over all of the different roles in Rainbow Six Siege so that you know who to play based off of your playstyle and what you're good at. If that sounds good to you, let's get straight into the video. So, in this game, there are three main roles. There's a bunch of different subcategories to those roles, which I will go over later. But for the newer players, you only want to focus on the main three. That is fraggers, support, and flex. Those are the main three roles. Now, I'm going to go over different operators for those roles so that you get a better understanding of who fits into what category so that you can better choose your role. First of all, let's go over attackers. You have entry fraggers, which are people who are meant to get kills in the beginning of the round, because frag means kill if you didn't know. You have supports, people who are meant to use their utility to win rounds. And then you have flex operators. Flex operators are able to do both. If your team needs kills desperately in the current moment, the flex operator can get kills with their utility. Or if your team needs a more utility style of approach, maybe they need EMP grenades, maybe they just need utility in general, you can bring that as well. So flex operators just bring a little bit of both and they adapt to the play style that is needed in the current moment. Arguably the hardest role to play, but is easiest to explain. So I'll go over fraggers first. First of all, all of the fraggers on attack include Ash, Glaz, Blitz, Sort of, Blackbeard, Nock, Finca, Amaru, Yana, Grim you can make a case for as well, and Zofia you could also make a case for being an entry fragger. For defense, the people who are meant to get kills and frag out, start with Doc, Capcan, Warden, Mozzie, Alibi, Vigil, Ella, Caviera, Oryx, Thunderbird, and Thorn. Those are all of the main people you are supposed to get kills with. It's very clear cut on defense because the difference in speed allows you to play differently, whether you're more aggressive or more passive, which is something that I'll get into when I talk about the support operators. Speaking of which, all of the supports for attack include Thatcher, Thermite, Monty, Gridlock, Hibana, Kali, Ace, Osa, and I think that is about it. For defense, supports include Smoke, Mute, Tachanka, Cade, Maestro, Mira, Malusi, Aruni, and Fenrir. These are all of the operators that are meant to just kind of sit on site and use their utility instead of running around the map and just shooting people. And then finally, we're going to go over all of the flex operators. All of the flex operators include Sledge, Thatcher, Twitch, Fuse, Blitz, IQ, Buck, Nomad, Lion, Dokebi, Maverick, Ying, Jackal, Capitao, Zero, Flores, Sens, Grim, Brava, and Ram. Those are all of the flex operators. There's a lot of flex operators, which is something I'll explain later. For defense, flex operators include Castle, Pulse, Rook, Jaeger, Bandit, Frost, Valkyrie, Echo, Legion, Clash, Solus, Azami, Wamai, and Goyo. So now that you know all of the operators that fit into each role, I'm going to go over how to play each role so that you can pick what role to play for yourself in ranked. First, I'm going to go over entry fraggers, which are arguably the easiest people to play because they're very straightforward. Entry fraggers, again, are people who are just meant to get kills, and you use their utility to get kills easier. Let's take a look at Yana, for example. Ayana is one of the easiest entry fraggers to learn and to play and to get value out of because she is one of the best, but also her ability is very simple. As you can see right here, she is a one star difficulty, meaning that she is the easiest difficulty in the entire game. All you do is you use her clone to drone out the area for you so that you can go in with her really good weapons and her frag grenades and get some kills. I think by the time that this video comes out, her frag grenades might have already been taken away, and if not, they're going to get taken away soon, so that might not be the case anymore, but still, you get the idea. You use her clone to drone herself in, and then you use her good guns to clean up. It's a very simple playstyle. Somebody who is very similar on defense would be Warden. All you do as Warden is you use the deployable shield, and you sit behind it with your 1.5 time scope and your MPX, and you just kill people. That's his entire job. If somebody flashes you or smokes you, you use his glasses, you activate them, and it negates both of those effects, and then you're able to get kills easier, especially if they're trying to do some sort of smoke plant. But overall, for attack and defense, fraggers are very simple. You're just meant to get kills with them and use their utility to help you get kills in whatever way that that means. Next, let's go over support operators. Let's take a look at Thermite. Thermite is by far the staple of a support operator and what a support operator is meant to be. He primarily just gets reinforced walls open, a very simple playstyle, but his main job is to use utility. He's not meant to get kills. He's not meant to help his team out wherever they need it. He is just meant to do one thing, and that's get a wall open. Hibana, the same thing. Her one job is to get hatches open. So if somebody has a very specific job because of their utility, they are a support operator, typically. Let's go over an example on defense. Smoke is meant to sit on site and use his canisters to slow down one push so that he can focus on the other push, essentially covering two places at once. He has a very low skill floor with a very high skill ceiling, meaning that you can only get better and better and better at him as you gain in skill. 
but he's mainly meant to sit on site and use his utility late in the round. Cade is meant to electrify hatches or walls so that people like Thermite and Habana can't open them. But you see what I'm saying, they're meant to sit on site and just use their utility. They're not primarily meant to get frags like their fragger counterparts that I went over earlier. Now we're going to go over the last main role, which is going to be the flex role. A good example of an amazing flex operator is Dokubi. Dokubi's ability allows her to make defender phones ring. So if you hear a defender's phone ringing, you can hunt them down and kill them. Now, this might seem like it is meant to be used as a fragger, but if you go into her loadout, you know that this is not necessarily the case. She doesn't have that good of weapons. She has a DMR or a two shot shotgun that's a slug shotgun which is not very useful in most scenarios while also having a gone six emp grenades or smoke grenades she's very utility heavy but her main ability focuses on getting kills so because she has two main discrepancies that don't fit well together she is now a flex operator if your teammates need to get wall open they need to maybe get the plant down you can use a phone call her smoke grenades or her emp grenades to help out with that maybe even a gone six to get deployable shields or if you need to go roam clear and get kills so that you can get defender cameras she allows you to do that with her phone call and her 1.5 time scope on her dmr so she can fit both different play styles which is what a good flex operator is meant to do the exact same thing can be said about an operator like maverick maverick you can either play as a support getting walls open getting hatches open or you can play him as a fragger making really quiet holes in the backside and doing a backside push with his really really good weapon either way you can play him in two different play styles depending on what your team needs if your team has a lot of support players but you're not getting a lot of kills maybe you can step in as a good maverick player sneak in backside with your 1.5 time scope and get some kills if your teammates are super kill heavy but you're not winning rounds due to the fact that you can't get the bomb down and you can't get walls open maybe you play maverick and you help get the walls open you're meant to flex to what your team needs and that is the mark of a good flex operator some defender examples include let's say clash clash you can either play really passively as a support just locking down a certain room in the map kind of like you would do with a deployable shield which she now brings by the way or you can play her very aggressively taking space and holding space so that they can't get certain walls open or take certain rooms that are necessary for them to win the attack either way you can use clash in a various number of play styles depending on what your team needs and what you need in the moment of the round now that we've gone over all of the operators, what their roles are, what all of the roles do, and what their primary focus is, I'm going to go over what role you should play depending on the type of player you are for your ranked games. Now, the entry fragger playstyle is the one I'll talk about first. I did say this is the easiest one to learn because it is the simplest, but also it requires the most amount of skill. You have to have good aim to be an entry fragger. It's cool if you can use utility to get into the building quickly, but if you can't back it up with your aim and actually kill people, you're not doing your job. So unless you have really cracked aim, you want to stick more towards either support or flex. If you're more of a passive player, maybe your aim isn't the best, but you like using utility and you like the strategy aspect of Siege, using utility might be for you. Therefore, you should probably play support. Now, if you have pretty good aim and you're pretty good at utility usage, maybe you've been playing the game for a little bit and you understand the core mechanics, flex is going to be the best role for you because then you're able to do everything that your team might need moment to moment in the round. You probably understand the flow of the round better than most of your teammates or most of the enemies so you understand what needs to happen when you understand when you need to be aggressive when you need to be passive when you need to use utility or when you need to get kills either way if you're good at the game and you have a little bit of both you're not too good at aim or too good at utility usage but you're just right between the two the flex role is going to be for you now before I end the video, there's one more thing that I want to talk about. I don't know if you were paying attention, but I said in the beginning of the video, there are actually subcategories to the man roles. So there are entry faggers, sure, but there is a primary entry fragger and a secondary entry fragger, or even a tertiary entry fragger. Not only is there a support, but there's primary support and secondary support. So there's there's different niches in every single role, if that makes sense. Primary fraggers are the people who are meant to enter the building first, and secondary fraggers are people who are meant to follow up and refrag their teammates if they die, essentially being the second one to the gunfight instead of the first. Primary supports are super, super utility heavy, while secondary supports mainly have utility that helps out their utility. So a primary support would be a Thermite, while a secondary support would be Thatcher, because he's made to get the wall open, and Thatcher is made to help him get the wall open. So it's a support to a support, essentially. There are also different types of flex operators. So you have flex operators that are meant to use utility, like Dokubi and Lion, in either a fraggish way or a support way, like I talked about earlier, or there's flank watch operators, which also happen to fall into the flex role. We have Zero, Gridlock, and Nomad, who are primarily used for flanks. So like I said, there's a bunch of subcategories to these main three categories, but as long as you focus on the main three and you do the best that you can at learning the basics, you should be fine and you should level up your gameplay in Siege. With that out of the way, that is it for the entire video. If you're really confused about how to play the game in the new current season, I just released a video that talks about everything that's coming to the new season, so you should go check that out at the end of this video. And my name's Alec, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.